Hello and welcome to another Breakthrough Expansion tier list. I'm Innocent Bubbles and joining me today is Adam. Say hi, Adam. How's it going? Dynamo D. Say hi, Dynamo. Heyo. And myself. So this is the third in a five-part series where we're going to go through the Breakthrough Expansion and we're going to go through each nation's uh, new cards in draft and rate them on a tier list. Today we're going to be doing Japan. Um, and take in mind that we are only rating these in the context of draft. We are not considering ladder at all. We are purely thinking about draft. So getting right into it, the experimental flight. Um, Dynamo, how do you feel about this? I really like this card. Um, I kind of fit it into the B tier, though. It's kind of a risk reward kind of card. Um, this card yeah. in draft it can be a negative thing, but the reward of getting a Shiden PI eighty three is it's really good. Getting one of those cards is a really good tempo for you. So it's kind of a risk reward card. Wouldn't put it as an A, so I, I, I kind of say it as a B just for the discard effect. Adam, do you feel the same way? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Japanese elite planes that you can get from this, by and large, are good, save for maybe one or two. Um, and if you can combine the discard effect with like a Betty or a supply chain units like that, uh, you actually gain tempo by playing this 1k order, um, which is pretty good. The likelihood of getting those in draft, eh, not super reliable. Puts it at a solid B. And the Wakamatsu, I believe it's pronounced. Terribly sorry for any Japanese viewers for our pronunciation. Adam, where do you rate these guys? Uh, the Wakamatsu Regiment seems all right. Solidly okay. You know, 1k, 2-2. Two, two. That's on par with 34ths. Uh, except they have one operation cost and fury. Um, and they also have this weird wrinkle where if it's destroyed, all of the other types of its unit on the battlefield also get destroyed. Um, puts it, I think, solidly at a C. Ideally, you don't want to get too many of these. Maybe two, maybe three. Do you feel the, uh, the same way, Dynamo? Yeah, I think what's really kneecapping this card is the one-op cost. Uh, with Fury, you really want a zero op, and this card does not deliver with that. And with the destruction effect, it definitely hurts it for having multiple units. I, I don't see myself picking this card very often, so I mean, I'm gonna give it a C. An outmaneuver dynamo, I believe you're a fan of outmaneuver. How do you rate the card? I love this card. Um, one of the key uh, winning factors for draft is trade the trade war, as I like to call it. Uh, this card just makes you win that trade war. You play it for 2k, you're trading your unit and not taking damage. Potential 2 for 1 value there. Uh, pesky ambush in your way. This card deals with it very effectively. Uh, it's a little costly. Um, it does drain your hand a little bit. So it doesn't get the S tier value, but I, it's a solid A for me. Solid A tier. Adam, how do you feel about Outmaneuver? Another cool thing you can do without maneuver, because the effect lasts through your opponent's turn, is you can play it on one of your guards, and they just can't attack whatever is guarded for that turn. Um, it's definitely helps you get good value trades, and for two K, it's not that bad. Again, it does drain your hand for not a permanent buff, but overall, quite good. Definitely an A. And take initiative. Where do you rate take initiative, Adam? I, uh, man, could you have a worse card in draft? Well, I guess you actually could. There's, uh, there are a few cards that are worse than take initiative, but this is just bad. It's a D. Don't avoid this like the plague. Yeah, Dynamo, do you feel the same way? Avoid it like the plague? I I'm trying to think of any cards that are worse <laughs> that list is very little very little yeah I, I would just avoid this card um, you get one card for two 
not that great value. It does get and, a little uh, bit better when it bounces back, but yeah, it's just no, no thanks. And the Mikawa Regiment, how do you feel about the Mikawa Regiment, Dino? So on paper, 3K, 4 4 stat line, not bad. Alpine, there's some synergy there. Blitz, yes, but the deployment really hurts it. And it's comparable to some other units that are not that great. So I kind of give this a B tier. I'll pick it in a pinch. It trades well. The blitz is nice, but uh, just the, too many downsides to it for me. Yeah. Adam, how do you feel about the Macara Regiment? It's very solidly a B. You know, if you can get it with some other Alpine units, it can be quite strong. If you can get it with a mostly empty hand, the deployment effect is not that big of a deal. Um, and it's okay statted for being Alpine and for being a 3 cost. So, pretty solidly a B. And Toyama Regiment, how do you feel about the uh, Toyama Regiment, Adam? I run into this card a lot in draft. Uh, it was one of the first new expansion cards that was added to draft. And a lot of people were picking it and testing it out. And you know what? Not very good. It's a C. There's sometimes you're going to want to pick it, most of the time not. Uh, ambush uh, is great on 4 damage. 4 damage ambush is hard to beat, especially on turn 3. But only 2 health dies to a lot of removal. Um, this, I've been clearing this thing most frequently with Eagle Claws because I've been playing a lot of Germany in draft recently. And, I mean, it, it just dies along with dealing two damage to everything else on their support line. Um, just a C. Yeah, Dynamo, anything to add to that? Yeah, a lot of the early game units can't trade into this, but when you're moving into mid-game, late-game, a lot of those units, it's just going to ignore that ambush. It's just going to get traded away. I, I'm not a fan of this. Definitely a, a C. And the Shinoto, oh, the Type 97 Shinoto, how do you feel about that, Dynamo? I love this card. Uh, Japanese lax uh, in really good tanks. This card really shines in that category. What I like about it is that it trades early artillery really well at 5k. So uh, this card is really high in my books. Definitely an A card for me. Yeah, and Adam, do you feel similarly or any different? Uh, one big advantage to this card is that it's a blitz tank with only one operation cost, which means that you can blitz with it a lot sooner than most other blitz tanks. Um, you know, whereas Germany has a three cost blitz tank with two operation cost and it has one more HP, you can't blitz that thing to the back line until turn seven. Whereas this, you can get out there on turn five, gives it much more versatility. Um, the stats are a little bit subpar for the cost, but not terrible. And it's great at killing artillery, like Dynamo mentioned. So, definitely an A. And then Greater Purpose. Where where would you put Greater Purpose? Uh, greater Purpose is not the worst, but really not the best. Um, it's... A little bit like a reverse by the sword, where you get more cards the more cards you have, but it's also delayed in that your units have to eventually die so you can actually get their draw. Um, it's a C, you know. The if you can get it on three units, it's pretty good value for the credits spent. Um. But in draft, it's it can sometimes, and especially with Japan as your main nation, it can be a bit tricky to build up a board to get good value out of this. And Dynamo, how do you feel about Greater Purpose? Yeah, I and mean, draw cards always a power card. Um, I think where this card kind of falls flat, is what Adam touched on is you're not getting that immediate card draw when you need it. You're going to have to trade units before you get to see that return on investment, and that could be a kind of a tempo swing you're not looking for. Uh, it's a C kind of draw card for me. 
And uh, the KI83, how do you feel about this Dynamo? Uh, hashtag nerf83. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this card is insane. Uh, the stat line alone, 6-5 for ambush. Super strong. There's not going to be a lot of cards that can trade this away. You're definitely going to get a 2-for-1 trade potential. Uh, and, and it's for 4K. Just amazing on its own. Then you add in the passive. You get draw into the mix as well. You can equalized hand advantage uh with this this card it's just it checks all the boxes for me it's an s tier card adam do you agree i mean dynamo summed it up pretty well him it's great stats ambush all for 4k and then you get card draw on top of it and you force your opponent to draw so many cards that they'll probably start milling within a turn or two if they don't have a way to clear this just Fair good. Enough. And Yamoto, how do you feel about Yamoto? Yamoto is all right. In draft, um, it's. You can think of this card as like an Air Blitz. Old Air Blitz used to be 4K and deal 4 damage. Um, so if you have two units on the board and you Yamoto, uh, you've added two damage on the destruction of two units. So it's four damage for 4k. Uh, if you have more units than that, like if you're getting on three units, it's quite value. But again, Japan, it's kind of difficult to build up a lot of units on board. So it can be a bit tricky to really get good value out of this. It's a solid B and not much better than that. Anything to add to that, uh, Dino? Yeah, it's kind of one of those situational cards um, where you're going to have it in your hand and you're going to be waiting until the right time to play it where you could have a card that could help you right now. Um, so it's, it can be a dead card in hand. It's a very situational card. You kind of want to wait until there's 3K units on the board and you can spend the 4K without taking a tempo hit. So it, it's a B card. It's strong, but very situational. And uh, costly victory. How do you feel about costly victory, Dynamo? So, reading the card, it, it reads bad, but I really love this card. Uh, it's targeted removal, which is so nice in draft. And if you can pick the right targets, uh, the negative effect can be uh, neglected or negated, I guess is the better word. Uh, you drop this on a Churchill, drop this on uh, you know, any kind of guard unit and stuff like that removing a high health unit and not discarding that many cards in return. I think this is an A-tier card. I love it. i played it a few times, and it hasn't let me down yet, so really good. Sure, and what tier was it, sir? A-tier. A-tier? Adam, do you agree? Yeah, Costly Victory, I think, is solidly an A-tier card. It's quite similar to Blade of the Samurai with a slight downside and it's a little bit cheaper and you can also have an extra copy of it because it's limited and not um not special it's downside you can kind of think of it like the 34th back when the 34th used to be the most powerful card in the game um it's just a bit of a non-effect so as long as you're not hitting anything with too too high of HP or too too high of damage, you know, four to five is probably a good cutoff point. You don't really want to be hitting things that have too much more than that. Um, it's really not that bad of an effect. Definitely an A. And the KI one hundred, how do you feel about this, um, Adam? I uh, this is an S for sure. It's Imagine a reusable hammer that only costs you two credits a turn uh, and your enemy has to trade into it if they want to get rid of it. It's just so good. When, when draft is all about trying to trade efficiently and getting a tempo advantage over your opponent, this is the card for that. Yeah, Dynamo, do you concur? Yeah, this card just trades well. It trades perfect, actually, is the definition of this card. Uh, the 4 health kind of hurts it a little bit, but um, if 
they don't have an answer or they can't run into it. This thing just mops up the, the board almost better than an air cobra does. Uh, snap pick all the way. And the field gun. How do you feel about the uh, the field gun dynamo? It's that 5K artillery, just too expensive. Uh, you know, you're dropping this mid game. There's so many units that can deal with it. Uh, even guarded, it's just an issue. Uh, it's a D. I wouldn't pick this at all. Yeah, do you agree, Adam? It's pretty bad. I mean, there's almost nothing that you'd rather uh, pick this over, except maybe like take initiative. Uh, it's just very expensive for very little stats. It has an okay... Um, effect to the battlefield plus one damage to infantry it's like all right but it's just so expensive to do that definitely a d and the uh Utsunu Mia regiment how do you rate that adam they are quite strong uh they're 5k with one operation cost four six so Already, you can kind of compare that to the 75th Rangers, which are 5k and 2 operation cost, and they're 4 eights. So, a little bit better operation cost, a little bit worse HP. However, when your enemy uh, gives an order, they take 2 damage to your HQ. That is quite powerful. It basically gimps your opponent's ability to play orders. If you can get even two of these guys down. Taking four damage to face is just not an option. So definitely an A. An A tier? And uh, Dino, how do you feel about it? Yeah, great stat line. Great operation cost. A little slow. A little late to the board, to the party. But uh, if the opponent tries to remove it, they're going to get punished. Which kind of gives it a little more strength to me. I give it an A tier. And finally, and possibly least, the Kawanishi H6K. How do you feel about that, Dynamo? Just too expensive. Uh, the negative tempo uh, to this card, the risk-reward, is not there. Uh, this card really pops with uh, the car orders that deal damage, which you're going to have a limited amount in a draft deck. They're going to be hard to snipe out. So there's very little synergy possibility with this. Um, with the one attack, seven costs to get on the board. If it gets removed, that's a big negative tempo loss to your to your board. I, I hate this card. It's a D. D tier and Adam, do you agree? It's a card that looks so so fun on paper. I mean, you give all of your orders plus two damage. What that that just looks like so much fun. I want to pick this. And then you try to play it and it's 7k and oh wait, you can't actually afford to play any orders this turn. Well, I guess I'll do it next turn. Oh, it just got removed by a Sky Barons, which only costs 4k and then they get to draw a card from it. Well, that was a big waste of 7k. It, uh, as, as fun as this card looks, just avoid it. It's not good. And there you have it. That is our Japan Breakthrough Draft Tier List. Um, be sure to leave a like and let us know how you felt about our tier list. What did you agree with? What did you disagree with? And uh, make sure to keep an eye out for our next one, which will be Germany. Thank you for joining me today, Adam and Dynamo. Thank you, Bubbles. Thank you.